Hey guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to show you why you should never practice your guitar solos to a metronome. I'm going to show you what to do instead. Everybody and their mom tells you to practice to a metronome. Maybe not their mom. But I'm personally just not a big fan. It is so boring, it's so unmotivating, and to be honest with you, it's unrealistic. Now, I understand why you want to practice to a metronome or why people say you should, because you've got to keep timing. That is a crucial element of being a guitar player, especially a lead guitar player. But I've got a solution for you. Instead of practicing to a metronome, I'm gonna bring you into the studio here and show you what to do instead. Now, most of us guitar players, we have some sort of recording software because these days it's just so attainable to have that and you can buy drum software with that and that's where I'm going with this now even if you don't have drum software and for this example I'm using Tune Tracks Easy Drummer because it's easy but even if you don't have that sort of sophisticated drum software your studio probably has some sort of beat system or some sort of drum patterns or loops hidden deep within it, just do a search, and if you can't find it, then just search the forums of your studio software. I'm sure someone can tell you where they're at. So let's come on closer. We're gonna dive into the studio, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. All right, guys, so I am in PreSonus Studio One Pro. This is the recording software that I use, and I'm gonna pull up Easy Drummer. It's Tunes Track, Tune Tracks Easy Drummer. Now, I'm not doing a tutorial on Easy Drummer here. I think I have an old one, an old video on that somewhere else. But I just want to share this with you guys as an example. So I'm just going to take Easy Drummer. I'm going to drag it over here. What a drag. That's a bad pun. <laughs> so, all right. So the first thing I do now, again, I'm not going through a tutorial. I just happen to have the Metal Machine Pack, which is really cool. And this is just something I use for songwriting, guys. I mean, this, this comes in handy for a lot of different reasons. So I'm just going to go to my browser here. I'm going to find, oh, I've got the death metal pack. It's pretty cool. Uh, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to find my metal machine pack. I'm going to go to the fast because, as you, as you can see, down towards the bottom here, and again, this may be in a different place if you're using a different um, recording software, but I've got my BPM, my tempo set at 157. That's just kind of a comfortable place to start practice. So what I do is just find a really cool drum track to jam to, so let's just try one of these. And that's way too slow. Okay, so that's something that sounds kind of cool. Now, what you can do without even having to like pull a track into the actual studio itself, you can just click on this, the play button, and make sure it's looping so like make sure it doesn't stop but you can just click the play button and you can jam with that you can just practice your solos or rhythms whatever you want to practice you can just jam on that track forever all right so we've got our basic drum beat down we've kind of found a cool beat to play around with here and it's going and going and going it's not going to end until we press stop so let's jam to that <laughs> Now let's go back to the click track. Here's what that sounds like again. So that's your tip right there, but I've got something even better for you and I really want you guys to take heart to this. I want you to take it to the next level. So here's what we're going to do. All right, guys. So let's say you're bored with jamming with that track and you want to do something a little different. So I'm going to show you the next best thing to do that's going to eliminate the need to ever play with a metronome again, which we really just did that, but this is taking things to the next level. So. The track that we like here, we're going to drag it into the studio. Ooh. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. I mean, you can add different drum tracks here or whatever, but like I said, this is not like an easy drummer or drum software tutorial. I'm just showing you guys just a cool way to practice uh, that's gonna give you like 110% or like 110,000% more motivation to practice your guitar. So I'm just gonna duplicate this track here. So this way we have like, you know, enough drum, drum trackage. Trackage, that's a new name. So it's gonna sound like this when I start to play. Now you see I've got my metronome on, I can turn it off down here so you don't hear the click track. I leave it on though and that's the click track, that's what you would be playing to if you didn't have these cool drums in the background, which that would be very, very boring. Uh, but I just keep that on to give me a count off so I know when the drum starts. So one, two, three, four. Alright, so that's it. Now the next thing I do, and this is the cool part, this is where we actually take it to the next level, and this is why I added this drum track in. Now we're going to add a guitar track. I'm just going to call this Rhythm One. I'm using plugins, guys. I'm not like mic'd up to an amp or anything here. I'm using the Positive Grids uh, Bias FX. So I'm just going to try to pull this up really quickly. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes, guys. I'm not like trying to give you guys a tutorial in here because I've got tutorials on this stuff if you go back through my videos. So I'm going to make this very, very quick. I'm just going to throw down a simple rhythm track because the goal here is to practice our lead guitar. So I'm just going to throw down a very simple rhythm track here. So here we go. I'm just going to make something up. I'm going to add a bass track as well. Alright guys, so we now have our rhythm guitar track laid. Now we're really ready to start practicing our guitar solos and playing lead guitar, all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do real quick here is I'm just going to go to my rhythm track and Again, I think most studios you can, you know, do this. You can duplicate the track, but uh, we'll just add a new one. For some reason, that's not working. Not sure why. So let's just add a new track, and we'll call this one "Lead." Click OK. Now I want to use the same plugin, the Positive Grids uh, Bias FX plugin, because this one has all the effects, and I do like to play with a little delay on my lead. So what I'll do is just kind of click my delay on here just a little let's crank the gain up just a hair on this here for leads okay that's it so now we have our track to record our guitar solos and again we can just make stuff up you know you got this track here that we just recorded you got the drums now I'm gonna show you something really really cool before we get into this okay so we recorded guitar we've got our drums I'm just gonna bring this here so that it's in line with this three. So watch this cool trick. And this is kind of getting like off base of what I'm showing you in this lesson, but we're gonna make that on 19. So check this out. I am gonna highlight all of the tracks and then I'm gonna just duplicate everything. So let me go here to the end because I want you to see what happens, right? So when I duplicate, I press the D key to duplicate here, boom. Now, I just doubled everything that I have recorded, the drum track, the, the guitar track, everything. So what this allows me to do is just play longer. You know what I mean? I can just play longer stuff. So you can keep doing this. I could, I could do it again, right? Now we've got even longer. Let's quadruple it because quadruple is always better. I don't know. I just made that up. Sometimes you can't have too much of a good thing. Maybe not. Anyway, so my point is you can extend this out for as long as you want like if you don't feel like recording the entire you know thing here for like five minutes just to practice your leads you can just throw down a very quick track and just keep duplicating it so that you've got longer play time 
Now, not only do we have a drum track to play along with to practice our guitar solos to, we've actually got a rhythm guitar track and drums. That's gonna be extremely more motivating for one. And more importantly, you've got a progression to practice too. So now you can't just play all over the place or play whatever you want. You've gotta stay within those parameters of the chord progression that you just created. So this is gonna help you become a much better guitar player much faster. Alright guys, so now I want to tell you why this method is really going to help you boost your guitar playing, your lead guitar playing, tremendously. It's going to take you from like, if you're like at level, let's say 1.5, not sure what level that is, it's going to take you from like there to like level 8 or something like that. It sounded cool. But seriously guys, I prefer you just not to practice to a metronome. Again, I'm not saying don't work on your timing, but instead practice to a drum track and if you wanna take it to the next level and even get better, practice to a drum track and a rhythm guitar track as well. And back in the day when I first started playing, you know, lead guitar was like my forte. Look, I sucked at most other things in life, so I had to be good at something and this just happened to be it. But the reason why I went from like level 1.5 to like level eight in a short amount of time, way back then when I started playing, is because I often played along with other songs. See, back in those days, we had these ancient devices called cassette tapes. They looked a little something like this. Hey, that says experimental recording. Man, this must be old. I just don't have a cassette player anymore. But I just threw in one of my favorite cassette tapes, and back in the days, that was like, you know, Metallica, Megadeth. I'd throw in some hair bands too, like Warrant and White Snake. I'd listen to Doc and Queensryche. But I would just put in a cassette tape and I would play lead along with those songs. Now, I didn't necessarily learn the songs. I mean, I had other times where I'd try to learn songs and all that good stuff that was, you know, part of, part of me growing as a guitar player. But oftentimes, I would just pop in the tape and I would make up my own lead patterns and my own guitar solos along with their music. That was like the bulk of my practice. And then better yet, sometimes I'd turn on the radio back then. I don't even listen to the radio these days. But I would just turn on the radio to like even some pop channel or whatever. And this is like back in you know late 80s, early 90s. But I would just turn on the radio and the good thing about that was the songs were almost always in a different key. So I learned the fretboard that way really, really well too. And I know I'm kind of venturing off onto like a tangent in left field somewhere. Was that left? That's left. But that was how I practiced, you know, I, I learned the fretboard really well and you know, what we're talking about in this video, you know, practicing to a metronome or click track, you know, that's all about timing. So practicing along with other songs or, or beats or drum beats or, or full tracks, whatever, that's going to help you with your timing as well. And to me, it's just so much better than practicing along to a click, click click that's just lifeless and it gets you in that more of a playing a robotic pattern happy birthday uncle polly remember that from rocky four that was a cool robot man so anyway what i would like for you guys to do now i want you to do what i just showed you how to do so i want you to pull up a drum track you know get in your studio pull up a drum track and if you're on youtube guys if you have videos i know a lot of you have channels just to watch other uh, people's videos and that's awesome thank you for that uh, but if you have your own YouTube channel and you're active you know creating videos I'm gonna ask that you record a rhythm track with a drum track and I want you to record a practice lead pattern with that and just tag me in the video because I'd really like to hear what you guys are putting out there and how my lessons and my tutorials are helping you that's really the whole point of my channel so guys I hope you enjoyed the video and as always Keep it metal.